All right, guys, get excited. How does a video collaboration with Cooking with Jack sound? That's what we're doing today. All right, guys, this is a huge opportunity for our channel. I want to thank Jack for agreeing to do this. Uh, somehow, some way, this came together. It's going to be a lot bigger deal for me than it is for him, but that's great. I appreciate it, Jack. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Uh, so here's how this is going to go down. What Jack proposed is that we're going to do a pork butt cook, which I have right here. I'm going to show you in a minute. The catch to this is that we've each got to use two strange or odd ingredients that you don't normally find in pork butt. So I know I finally decided after thinking about this for a couple weeks, I finally decided what I'm going to do and I hope you guys like it. I'm not going to let you on to the ingredients yet. We'll get to those as we move along. It's a viewer interactive cook which means that I want you to check out my video here. I'm gonna put a link to Jack's video up here and then just comment on our videos. Tell us which one you liked better. It really doesn't matter to us who gets more likes or votes, but we're gonna have fun doing this anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what I've got here. So I've got about an eight pound pork butt here. All I've done is unpackage this, I've rinsed it off and I've patted it dry, not really dry. I've left a little moisture on there for our rub to stick to. And I've got my rub right here. And don't worry, I'm gonna put the recipe in the description. I'm gonna go ahead and just coat this thing up here. And we're gonna pat this in. And I'm just getting the sides here, guys. Sorry if my big mitt's in your way. All right, I think that's good. So my plan is, again, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up in some plastic wrap. We're gonna put this in the fridge, let it hang out overnight. I'll bring you guys back in the morning. It's gonna happen in about a snap for you. <laughs> a little bit longer than that for me. I'll see you guys when we come back. Good morning, everybody, we're back. Uh, take a look at what I did. I've just taken this out of the fridge and unwrapped it. It's really soaked up this rub well. There's some moisture still on the top and it's ready to go out on the smoker. Now, I'm gonna use my Gorilla Grill Silver bag for this cook today. I'll be cooking at about 225 degrees, and I know this is gonna be about a seven to an eight hour cook. So, I mentioned to you that we're gonna use a couple strange ingredients, and one of them's gonna be an injection. So, here's where it gets a little weird. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna take some of that rub I have left over, I'm gonna mix it up in this, and I'm gonna inject it. The other strange ingredient I'll get to when we wrap, because that's when we're gonna use it. And we're gonna whisk that in. All right, let's go ahead and start injecting. All right, guys, I've got this in about five or six spots. I'm just gonna do a couple more. Now I went with the tamarind uh, flavor because I'm trying to get that sweetness inside the meat and keep the savory on the outside. I've got this thing injected really well. My silver back is just about to temp, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a jacket on. Put on your coats, come outside with me. Okay guys, we're out here at the silver back. We're up to temp and we're ready to get this pork shoulder on. Now again, I just wanna go over my my thought process on this cook. We're gonna smoke this at 225 till we get an internal temperature of about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. When I hit that, I'm gonna wrap this in foil. You're gonna see my other tricky or odd ingredient, and we're gonna finish this off till we get to about 195 to 200. Then we'll bring it inside, wrap it up in towels while it's still in the foil, and let it sit for about an hour before we shred it, all right? So let's go ahead and get this thing on the silver bag. Gonna go ahead and let that go until we hit about 160. All right, guys, quick detour. So I was upstairs working out. Pork butt had been out on the smoker for about two hours, and my low temperature alert goes off on my grill eye app. So I went outside. I noticed that I had the grill set at 225. It was down below 170, and there was a lot of smoke coming out of it. So as a precaution, I unplugged it. Uh, I brought the pork butt inside, put it in the oven, and let that babysit it while I took the pellets out of the hopper, cleaned out all the internals after it cooled off. 
I didn't find anything wrong. I really don't know what happened. It could have been a freak thing. I've never had it happen before. Uh, so I went ahead, put everything back together, fired it up. Everything's normal. It's running great. Put the pork butt back outside. And uh, just wanted to share this with you because I don't know if it's going to influence this cook. And this is an important cook and an important video for me. So we're going to see how this turns out, okay? But I just wanted to share this with you. So back onto the cook. All right, guys, we're back. Through all this that's happened today, we are back. And we're at wrap time. So we're just under 160, and I can tell it's hitting the stall already. I'm ready to move this guy into some foil and get it wrapped up. And then I'm going to show you what my second hot ingredient is. Odd ingredient number two, pepperoncinis. As we wrap this, I'm gonna wrap it with those pepperoncinis. We're gonna add a little more rub to the top of this, just for good measure. And now for tenderness, I've got a little bit more of that pepperoncini juice that we're gonna place in here at the bottom. We're gonna let it steam in that juice. Now we're going right back on the smoker. And I'll get those probes back in. I'll talk to you guys when we get up to temp and we're ready to pull this thing off. All right, we've hit 200, 205 right in there. Internal temperature on this pork. I've checked it for tenderness with these temp probes and it's ready to come off. So I'm gonna pull this off here. I'm gonna wrap it in some towels and let it rest for at least an hour on the counter inside. When it's ready to unwrap and take a peek and pull, I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, my camera one's going to drive me crazy. But anyway, we're back in the house here. Uh, this pork butt's been resting for just a little under an hour, and I'm going to go ahead and get this unwrapped. Oh, wow, this smell is just crazy good. This smells amazing. I mean, it's uh, just... I can smell the pepperoncini, the garlic. I can smell all the aromas from that rub. And I can't wait to get into this. So I'm gonna transport this over here into this dish and we're gonna go ahead and shred this. You can just look at this. I mean, this is just coming right apart. This is absolutely amazing. I mean, the smell is just incredible. I'm gonna go ahead and start tearing away at this with these claws. All right, guys, uh, I got this partially torn apart. I just wanted to show you, look at the smoke ring we got. I mean, even though we had those that setback today, I'm going to tell you what, that silverback knocked this cook out of the park. I mean, it was out of the smoke for a little while, and we still got a beautiful smoke ring in here. All right, guys, got that all shredded. I'm going to try to get some of this juice back in there, too. I reserved a little bit of that pepperoncini juice. I'm going to go ahead and... Use it up. Guys, this is unbelievable. I can't wait to taste it. So wasn't really sure if I just want to dig in with a fork and take a uh, taste test that way. But my wife and I decided we're going to make tacos out of this. Let me go ahead and just grab some of this. All right, now, uh, just because I want to taste this pork and not anything else, I'm just going with this corn tortilla and this pork, all right? Let's see how this turned out. Guys, I'm real happy with how this turned out, I gotta be honest. Uh, I don't taste a lot of the sweetness inside. I taste a little bit. I think if I were to do this same recipe again, and again, I was just trying to be creative here. I was trying to figure out what two odd ingredients I was gonna use. So if I was going to do this again, I'd probably use more of that soda, all right? Because I only got a little hint of sweetness inside, but the outside is just amazing. That rub, uh, and then combining that when we shred this apart with the juice that was left over in that foil, putting it back in here, it is absolutely unbelievable. I want to thank Jack for doing this with me, uh, for you know being so generous and so kind to allow me to participate in this with him. I've been watching his channel for a long time and I don't really know that I've seen him do another collaboration. So Jack, thank you so much. I know you're just doing this to help me out and I appreciate it. So thank you very much. Please visit Jack's channel. I'm sure you all know who he is, but I'm gonna leave a link to his channel down below. Um, 
and then leave in the comments, watch his video, watch mine. Tell us which one you like better, okay? We don't really care who wins, but I wanna get some feedback on this recipe. So till next time, take care, God bless, and I'll talk to you guys later.